folks and welcome back to Fishing with Dan. Well today I'm going to show you how to make some flavoured bread. Now it's bread paste. Don't get confused with uh, what people call paste fishing on commercial fisheries. That's uh, the sort of stuff that you put a great big blob of it on the hook, ship it out on your pole, on the top of a pole pot and then drop it in the, the water. When it hits the water, it sinks to the bottom and basically it dissolves very very quickly into a, a cloud uh, on the bottom and really it's a really effective method but it's not what we're talking about today. What we're talking about is good old-fashioned bread paste, this stuff. Um, and the reason I'm actually going to show you this today is because I want to actually uh, go down to my local pond in the next few days and just just try bread paste on the hook. But in my paste, sorry in my case rather, I'm going to use it like this. Now this is a flavoured bread paste and I've flavoured it with turmeric because that's what I flavour my pellets with and also my ground bait. Having said that, there's no reason why you can't flavour it with paprika and you could also consider one of these essences. Now I haven't tried the liquidised form yet so you may have to um, do a little bit, bit of experiment on that but I have definitely tried this turmeric flavoured one and it works really well. And really the purpose of today is to show you how to make my paste really quick, really easy and really cheaply. So traditionally then, um, you would normally have gone out, got yourself some slices of bread, cut off the, the crusts and then some people actually just dry it off and then crush it down either with a rolling pin or put it in a blender and then you've got a nice fine powdery bread and that works great. Um, there are other methods of doing it but uh, they're all traditional methods and I'm sure you've probably come across them before. My method however is simply to buy a bag, a 500 gram bag of breadcrumbs from the, the local supermarket. Now you have to bear in mind that this says breadcrumbs but it's got, uh, I can read this, uh, wheat flour, wholemeal, wheat, soy flour, blah, blah, blah. there's about 17 different items in this and it's relatively coarse but it does make for a good piece of bait. And all we do, take a bowl, take a mug with some water in it, put about half the water from the mug into the bowl, and then pour in some breadcrumbs. Now, don't pour too many in. I've still got uh, some water in there, which you should hopefully be able to see. And all I'm gonna do is just mix it around until it's nice and all mixed in. There we go. It's all a bit soggy at the moment. But there we are. Starting to stick together. Now all I'm going to do is just leave that on one side for a few minutes and it'll stiffen up. Come back to that in a second. That's basic bread paste. I'll just put that on one side for a minute. It's nice and soft already. But bear in mind, this is like ground bait. It does soak up water over a period of time. I'll just wipe my hands a second. Now, the other way of doing this is to put the half a cup of water in there, but this time the breadcrumbs, about the same amount, sort of so so, there, that much and one teaspoonful of turmeric. Now I did mention turmeric and I've also mentioned paprika um, in the earlier part of the video. While well, I'm just mixing this, um, you can of course also use all sorts of other things. Um, custard powder is good and of course you can also make up cheese paste. If you can do cheese paste, obviously you're not going to get that in granular form like this. What you can do is just grate it all up into very small pieces and then blend it in uh, with the, the dry mix. Now that's all done so again I'll just dump it all in there there we go and again just mix it around until we're at the same consistency as the last one. Let me just get this nice and done okay as you can see a small amount of breadcrumbs goes a long way. You've got a fair sized ball of bait here. But what I'm going to do now is exactly what I did with the standard bit of bread and just leave it for about uh, five minutes, ten minutes or so, let it all soak up. 
Now, word of warning, if you're going to use turmeric like I just did, if you're going to do much of this stuff, uh, I really would suggest you get a pair of uh, these plastic gloves. Don't use the rubber or latex ones because they do tend to leave a horrible smell on your hands and so I'm assuming they'd do that with the um, the turmeric as well. Um, having said that, I've gone for it today and I'm going to have yellow fingers. It looks like you've been smoking 40 a day for the last 30 years but just bear in mind that it is a flavouring and if this is what they put into curries it just makes you wonder what the insides of your stomach look like afterwards. Anyway, give it a few minutes. Okay, it's about 10 minutes later and I've just come back to the first ball of paste that I made and I have to be honest and uh, I say this one's actually pretty good consistency already. Um, if you just pinch a piece off like so you'll know if it's right because you should be able to make a ball of it like that in your hand without it sticking to your fingers. Now this is on the edge of sticking to my fingers and that's actually about right. Now as I said before I was uh, intending to use uh, this for my bait but as I also pointed out I've got yellow fingers from not putting the gloves on so for the purposes of the demonstration I'm going to go stay with the, the standard bread so I don't have to uh, get them any more discoloured. Now what I have done this is a, a batch of bait I made up just before I started the video and I've made this up somewhat drier so it does pull apart as you see and, and it would go on the hook but it's actually quite solid. You don't want it too stiff you just want a nice smooth soft mix as I said before that you can just pull off the ball without it sticking to your fingers. And the way to achieve that, take a bowl, just a very small amount of water, just dribble it in the bottom like that. Then I just roll the ball around in the water and just start to knead. A little bit more. There we go. Just keep going. Nice and squishy. You can feel it starting to become more easy to squeeze and more malleable and it's also becoming a smoother mix. There was a bit of granular uh, feel to it uh, prior to this and there's still a little bit now so just a touch more. You don't need much of this water by the way. Just keep doing this. There we go, something quite therapeutic about this actually. Apart from the yellow bits on your hands. Right, we're getting there now. This is a lot more pliable, more malleable. Good words this morning. Right, so, just dry my hands off a bit. Probably should leave that for a short while, uh, just to make sure it's soaked everything up. But let's just have a quick look. I take a piece off, like that. And as you can see, I can roll it in my fingers and that's it done. Right, now for putting it on as bait and how to use it and all the rest of it, I'll be doing a, a, a fishing demonstration of this uh, next time I go out. Um, so I'll leave you a link in the description box down below so that you can click onto that one if you want to watch it. And then you can see exactly how I use this instead of things like pellets. Right, well that was a short one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. If you want to subscribe, you can do that. And until the next time, bye for now.